With my recent pickup of Commodore machines, I thought it was time to review an Amiga game and I actually have some software to choose from. But you know, since I don't have a keyboard yet, that kind of narrows it down because some software just won't run without it. But here is one that will run Golden Axe. Yes, Golden Axe, the fantastic 1989 arcade beat em up from Sega. Ported to several platforms, including the Amiga. Well, obviously, I'm playing it on an Amiga. And here is Death Adder. He must work out. Axe Battler the Barbarian, his mother was killed by Death Adder. The Amazon, her father and mother were killed by Death Adder. The Dwarf, his brother was killed by Death Adder. Okay, Sega, we get it. Death Adder needs a friend. He's misunderstood. Alright, so let's select our characters. The Dwarf, the Amazon, tempting, but the Barbarian it will be. Alright, so let's play this. Hey, why can't I move? Move! Hey, mister, can you tell me why I can't move? Hey, mister, watch out! Hey, what the hell, man? You dick! Alex, what has happened? His Majesty and the Princess have been taken by Death Adder. Shocker. Revenge them for me, my friend. Alex! And if you'd like to hire me to read your game, you can do so by following the instructions in the description. So there you go, a nice, simple plot. Kill bad guys, save king and daughter. You see, that's the problem with games these days. Too much plot and less button mashing. In addition to baddies, you can also kick elves for magic. Probably don't want to try that in real life, though. Unfortunately, my Amiga didn't come with a keyboard, so I can't really use the magic. But hey, you can still kick them for fun. One pretty sweet feature of the game is the fact you can ride on these prehistoric beasts and start tail whipping people. Of course, it's only fun until some douche knocks you off of it. You dick! Now, as awesome as this game is with one player, it's double awesome with two players. There is a noticeable slowdown in gameplay, but not unplayably slow or anything. Of course, two-player mode doesn't come without its challenges, like when your friend is too slow or goofing off, and the screen hasn't moved far enough, and you fall to your death. Or how about when they start attacking you and pretend it was an accident? Hit the elf, not me! Something that I've always really appreciated about the game is its amazing soundtrack, which sounds terrific on the Amiga. Unfortunately, the Amiga isn't the best home port of the game, that would clearly be the HPLX DOS handheld version, where only the most dauntless of heroes can beat the game or play it for more than 10 seconds. Okay, but on a serious note, this game was converted extremely well and is just a lot of fun to play. So, go play it. Thanks for watching.